Hello friends, welcome back. We are studying ASP.NET Web API. So this video is about content negotiation. This is one more important term that is frequently used in Web API. So let us understand it in detail. So first of all, we are going to see the formal definition of content negotiation. So what is it? It is the process of selecting the best representation for a given response when multiple representations are available. Now, all of you are aware of representation, right? Means how we can represent our data or output of our Web API request. So it can be in the XML format, it can be in the JSON format, okay? Or it can be in any other format like HTML or anything, whatever format your Web API supports, okay? So this means what? You are selecting the best representation for a given response when multiple representation are available. So in last video of media type formatter, we saw that Web API has by default support for XML, JSON, BSON and form URL encoded data. So it has this four representation available. So among it, it chooses the best representation. Okay, so basically, it try to represent the data in the client expected format. Okay, means if client needs a data in the JSON format, it definitely returns the data in the JSON format. If client expects or requires data in the XML format, it will definitely return the data in the XML format. But if client requires data in the HTML format, and our ASP.NET Web API cannot do it because it has a default support for XML, JSON, BSON, and form URL encoded. So what it will do? It will try to choose the best representation. And among that, it will choose one and it will represent the data in that format. So in short, content negotiation means client and server can negotiate. It's not necessarily that client will demand or put a command on server that I want the data in this format only. It doesn't work like this. It is negotiation. Client can request and can say to the server, please provide me your data in this format. If server can, server will provide the data. If not possible, in that case, it will choose the best representation for that response. So I hope you understand this. So basically the content negotiation is depend on this following header accept accept care set accept encoding and accept language the primary header is the accept header means with the help of accept header you can specify in which format or what is the media type of your response we already studied this header in the media type formatter video okay so if you are not aware of this please watch that video now see with the help of this content negotiation the same URL can be used to serve a multiple clients and with the multiple formats. Means I have a same request, but I need a data in the JSON format. I will use the same URL and server will provide me a data in the JSON format. But if you need a data in the XML format, you will request for that and the same URL will serve the data in the XML format. Okay, so this is content negotiation. So let us understand it practically. So my application is already running. So this is our application, local application that we have created. So here we already have a get request in the history part. So I am choosing the same. And if we check the header here, it is in the application slash JSON format. So that's why I'm getting the output in the JSON. I'll hit a send and we'll observe the output. Yeah, it is in the JSON format. If I say XML, yes, it will return me a data in the XML format because ASP.NET Web API has support for both XML and JSON and there are media type formatter classes available for JSON and XML both. But suppose if I request a data in the text slash HTML format. Okay, we already know that ASP.NET Web API do not support this, but still we are going to try this and we'll observe the output. 
so let us hit the send button yeah we got the output in the json format right because see content negotiation means you are requesting a server to please provide me a data in this format but if server cannot do this it will choose the best representation and then it will return the data so that is content negotiation and the main role of here is of accept header with the help of accept header you can tell the server which format you expect or client can tell the server which format it expects okay so i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubts you can write it to the comment section thank you for watching